Hey guys, what's up? MD Punk here, and we are back again for another playthrough, and it is a One Piece playthrough. I talked about this in my channel update, and I am super excited, and I'm still kind of moving my mic around, so sorry for any noise that it picks up on, but I should have done this before I hit record. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, now that we're done being professionals. This is One Piece Burning Blood, and I am super excited. It's, it's a, a new fighting game by Spike Chunsoft. Um, they did some of the old Dragon Ball games. They did J-Stars Victory Versus. And uh, I played a little bit last night. I got it at um, midnight Eastern Standard Time, or 5 a.m. for me. I stayed up just to play it. So I've done the first two stages of the story, but I'm going to go back and do them again. They were just tutorial anyway. And it looks like the story mode only covers Marine Ford, the Paramount War, which kind of sucks considering the roster. I think they could do more with it, but I also got the Wanted DLC expansion because I bought the Deluxe Edition. So we have a lot of free stuff here, and that's super exciting for DLC, including the f um, full Gear 4th character and some other ones. Like uh, Afro Luffy, Bow Damage Law, and Daffy. It's, it's pretty great. Um, so let's go ahead and hit start, because I am super excited. But it's funny though, if you look at the art for the game, Luffy, Doflamingo, and Sabo, and yet the story mode is Marine Ford. Ain't much to really say on that one. Oh my god, a game that uses autosave in 2016? <gasps> Alright, here here we go. No fancy intro, which kind of sucks, but, uh, Checking my add-ons, load my save data, and now we're connecting. Alright, here we are. So, basically, the reason why I even did the first couple story modes sections is because when you first start you don't have anything but paramount war mode i couldn't go to versus mode which is where i wanted to go to um and whatever pirate base is so obviously we're going to be sticking to paramount war here but first i'm going to show you guys uh the dlc <laughs> yeah. so here's the character to start off with you got uh Pre time skip Luffy. Ace. Time skip Luffy. Zoro. Usopp. Sanji. Nami. Chopper. Robin. Frankie. Brooke. And then Sabo. Also, honestly, a pretty good starting roster, but we have more than that. We have this section, which is Gear 4 Luffy. Swimsuit Nami from Film Z. Swimsuit Robin from Film Z. Boa Swimsuit because why not? Piranha Swimsuit because why not? Koala Swimsuit because... Kung Fu Luffy from one of the random like cover spreads. Champ Luffy or Afro Luffy as we all know him to actually be. We have strong style Shinsuke Nakamura Ace but really a strong world. And we have strong world shanks as well. It's always funny to me that like they always put these two strong world outfits in the game, but like those two characters don't appear in the movie. Yeah, so, dual law or pretty much the end of Dress Rosa because he even has where he's reattached his arm. <laughs> we have Dopamingo after he's defeated. Zoro with his shirt off. Law with the shirt off. We have Lucy version of Sabo. Bong Clay with Nami's body. Yeah, that's a thing. Young Whitebeard, which is really cool. And then the big pre-order bonus was Platinum Luffy. Or what Luffy wanted to do for Dressrosa, basically. And there's a gold version of this as well that I've signed up to get. But as of this recording, I haven't checked my email to even see if I've got it yet. So that is the, the character's... Um, that I have so far. So obviously I have a lot to unlock. So let's go ahead and jump back into Paramount War. We have Episode Luffy. 
And we're going to start over here on the Straw Hat Team Arise chapter. Um, you can see who your opponent is after you clear the stage, and then there's extra chapter requirements. So I don't know what those do, but we're going to try and get one. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to start this chapter. Luffy finds his beloved brother, Portgas the Ace, will face a public execution. In order to save Ace, he heads to the prison of Impel Down. However, Ace has already been taken to mind for the site of this execution. Luffy has her mind for with the freight prisoners of Impel Down. I just hate that they're only doing this mode of the story, this part. It sucks. Episode Luffy, the Straw Hat team arrives. At least we get some actual cutscenes, it's not all anime still. I'm look, it's not the Pirate Warriors character models, yay! So like the games and stuff. This is also the first time we've properly had Sengoku in the, in the game, like he had like a face in Pirate Warriors 3. It is Crookedite, and Jinbei, and even Cobb, and Buggy. Yay. We did it. But meanwhile... And Luffy kicks it away. And we get something a little extra here because obviously in the main series this wasn't an actual fight. It ended with the kick. And Luffy kicked away Crocodile's thing. So, we shouldn't have to go to the tutorial again. I hope. Yeah, I still can't hit him. Oh shit. He got first attack, that's bullshit, I already failed. That was not range attack, so... We have our unique here. Guard is great. Which, if I kind of learned before, it's, um... It's very important to break cards. Boom. So yeah, I'm actually really annoyed. I don't want to do this again. Um, I just wanted to fight him. Fuck you, man. Yeah, there's uh, actions with like, um, oh wait, I'll wait for the cutscenes over here. Well, I see they're trying to psych Luffy out, but, you know. Oh, 
So basically, I like you, kid. I don't want to execute this in like quotation marks. That was a pretty upfront question. And that's the end of that battle. So now I have to get through the other tutorial fight. And I'm annoyed because like I didn't get any of the bonuses. I guess I didn't have either. Whatever. That's fine. No extra chapters here. It's just beat smoker. Let's do it. After this, we'll be all in all new territory for me as well. We'll be once again heads for Ace's execution scaffold. He runs across the frozen waves together with his friends. However, he finds his way blocked once more, this time by a lone marine. An old friend. Er, enemy. An old frenemy. Shiggy, he didn't want to put the game! For whatever reason. It better be DLC or something. Smokey. It's Chaser! No, I won't do that again, I'm sorry. So yeah, Smoker is another character who has a pretty time skip form. And that's the only one. Yeah, now, now they're telling us about the special moves, so... I have a hard time hitting it. I love the animation for that, and I'm glad that everybody has it. Now we get to spam supers for the rest of this. So that'll be fun. And he's right in front of me. Boom, and it's a combination of you on, uh, Bru uh, Bluno, also Bruno. Bruno. So yeah, they give us, ult like, unlimited ultimate <laughs> Fuck you. This is really annoying. Luffy's not that good, at least this Luffy's not. <laughs> Yeah. Now we're gonna end it off so you guys can see basically what the super is supposed to be. Like it's full form. Gotcha, bitch. He's not pretty much dead at this point. Now we'll get this full lot of like this one. They're blown away. That ship has not had a good day. You keep knocking people into it. So that Kanara Ziki Kokoe Kurito Shinji Yota Koreho, I need a Tejo no Kamija. Like all the guys just fighting like, as fast as possible in the background of the stage. You, 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 Boom, and a clash between big titties and old rival. It's funny because like, he doesn't, doesn't even report Hancock or anything for this. Like, there's no consequence to this. Because he's probably right. We got first impact, first attack, and a grand impact. Neat. Everyone gets a bit of XP for that. So now we're officially in new territory here. Master Swords of Mihawk. Boa Hancock gives Luffy the key to save Ace, but then Hawkeye's Mihawk appears in his way. So I, used to, I wonder who we're fighting here. It looks like we have actually a support character in Vista this time, so that would be cool. Aboard his boat, Whitebeard has begun his battle of wits with Sengoku. 
Master Swordsman Mihawk. Let's go. わるいが鏡。この力慎みは Um, I assume this is going to be our tutorial one. There are two types of support characters. Those who are activated automatically and those you can activate at will. Use up, right, and left on the d-pad to activate those so you can activate at will. This says the type tool will have to be activated manually. Bring this out and you won't be knocked back or frozen by attacks for a period of time. Although you will still take the full damage. Interesting. <laughs> Oh. He just, oh, he ran into it. What? I thought he was, he was like gonna wreck my shit. Fuck your guard. Nope. Bullet, bitch. Ow, that was a lot of health in this Now, there is a bit of a problem with this. I could get knocked out of this right away. Oh, no! He got him. But he's not taking that, lot, that much damage somehow. I thought I'd be able to kill him with this, but probably not. A regular combo is in more damage to him, I feel. So, Mihawk has some good long range attacks. Like, when I pull a lot of them, I'm using him. Bazooka! We sent him for Lion! Goodbye! Oh no, bro, how'd you get back so fast? Because we blew you away. Alright. Do it again. And yeah, we got first attack, but not grand impact, so. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up first episode here. I would do another story mission, but like I know it'll get past my typical like 20 minute time limit. So that's gonna be our like introduction of sorts to One Piece Burning Blood story mode. I yes, I will say it probably throughout the whole playthrough, I am disappointed that it's only mine for it. That being said, so far the presentation's really good. I like what they're doing with the adding actual cutscenes but still using anime stills. Um, it's a good mix of that. So, but that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I'll see you next time for more One Piece Running Blood. Leave a like and subscribe if you like it and want to see more content from this game, because I'll probably do beyond just the story mode. I'll probably do online, I'll probably do wanted mode, because there's like a bunch of extra stuff in there. We'll take a closer look at that after we finish Paramount War Mode. So, I will see you guys next time for more One Piece Burning Blood.